but fighting for his life tonight at UMC after a shooting that happened on the Las Vegas Strip late last night. Well, I'm Kirsten Joyce. This happened about 11 o'clock between the Link and Flamingo Hotels. Police have made an arrest. 19-year-old Christian Miller he was taken into custody in California during a traffic stop. Joe Moeller spoke to family members of the victim. He is live near where the shooting occurred. Joe. The mother of the man who was shot says his name is Justin and he underwent seven surgeries today and she says that he she believes he is now paralyzed. Now this all happened between those two hotels, the Lincoln and Flamingo right here on the sidewalk off the strip. She tells us her 28 year old son was in town from Seattle to help her move. He was wearing a Seattle Seahawks necklace when according to her a group of men were calling her son names when shots rang out. Justin's mom says the bullet missed his heart and hit his kidneys causing him paralysis. Christian Miller was was stopped for speeding in California and was taken into custody. The shooting comes after a string of fights on the strip. We spoke to retired Henderson Police Chief and Security Consultant Tommy Burns, who says more needs to be done. I think you're going to see Metro stepping up when they see these roving bands of, uh, of uh, thugs out there. I mean, most of them are verbally accosting women, challenging men to fights, uh, things of that nature. And it's just a rip roaring party really on the strip, up and down the strip. And you know, people don't feel safe. Recently, Sheriff Joe Lombardo recognized the uptick in crime on the strip. He attributed the problem to lower room rates and less options for activities on the strip. Now, back out of here live, we did speak to a number of people who were uh, visiting Las Vegas here on this strip, and they say they're not too worried about the crime happening on here on the strip, but they are aware that it is happening. Many say they just simply head back to their hotel room before it gets dark. Reporting live here on the strip, Joe Bowler, 8 News Now.